Hi guys, welcome back to another What's for Dinner. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Danil and I share a few dinners that I made for my family this past week. I hope this video gives you some dinner inspirations and a few new recipes to try out in your own home. Let's get started. For this night's dinner, I did a Taco Bell copycat Mexican pizza. This recipe is super quick and easy. All you need is some ground beef, refried beans, enchilada sauce, cheddar cheese, olives, green onions, tomatoes, and some taco seasoning. I started off by just browning my ground beef. And then I just added in my taco seasoning. And then I just went ahead and opened up my can of refried beans. I put it in a bowl and put it in the microwave for about two minutes. Into a pan of heated oil, I just fried up my tortillas. Once everything was cooked, I started assembling the Mexican pizzas. First, I topped the tortilla with my refried beans. Next, I added my ground beef. And then I added another tortilla on the top of these. Into the top tortilla, I spread on some enchilada sauce. And then I just added a nice handful of some cheddar cheese. And then I just cooked these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 8 minutes or until the cheese is melted. And once the pizzas were done cooking, I topped them with some green onions. Next, I added on some olives, as well as some tomatoes. And to finish it off, I just added a dollop of sour cream. And dinner is done. And for this night's dinner, I did enchilada tater tot casserole using the crock pot. Into a heated skillet over medium heat, I added one pound of ground beef. I just cooked it until it was cooked through, and then I added in one chopped medium onion, two cloves of minced garlic, and then I added in one half package of taco seasoning. I mixed everything to combine, and this is done. Into my crock pot, I added in one bag of frozen tater tots. Into the top, I just drizzled over one can of enchilada sauce. And then I just covered it with the ground meat mixture. And you want to make sure that you spread out the meat so that way all the tater tots are covered. And I just covered with the lid and I cooked it on low for about four hours. All right, it's been about four hours. I'm gonna add in one cup of Mexican blend cheddar cheese. I didn't have any on hand tonight, so I'm just using regular medium cheddar. Next, I'm just adding in a small can of sliced olives. And I'm just going to put the lid back on and let it cook for an additional hour. So I went ahead and dished this up. I just paired it tonight with a side salad. So my kids love this. They went back for double servings. This dinner was even better as leftovers the next day. And dinner's done. And for this night's dinner, I did one pot Italian sausage pasta. For this dinner, I'm using this Primo Mild Italian Sausage. I had this in the fridge and I decided to use this up. I just went ahead and chopped this up into bite-sized pieces. I also took off the casing. My family does not like the taste or texture of it. And I just added some olive oil to a pan over medium heat. Into that pan, I added one medium onion, chopped. And then I added in my sausage. And I just went ahead and let that cook for about two minutes until the sausage was halfway cooked through. And then I added in three garlic cloves. Next, I added in two cups of chicken broth, one 12 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and one half cup of heavy cream. And next, I just seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I added in eight ounces of uncooked bow tie pasta. And then you just wanna make sure that you stir it well and that the pasta is covered with the sauce. And I'll also have this recipe linked in the description box below. And once everything is mixed, I'm going to cover it and simmer it on low for about 15 or 20 minutes. And while the pasta is cooking, I shredded up one cup of cheddar cheese. And for a side tonight, I'm just making these crescent rolls. I will also be making a salad, so I went ahead and chopped up my veggies. So it's been about 20 minutes. My pasta is done. I'm gonna add in one cup of cheddar cheese and I'm just gonna mix it up until the cheese is fully melted and this food is done. And then I'm just gonna start dishing up our plates. And dinner is done. And for our dinner tonight, we just did some steak on the barbecue grill. For this dinner, we are just cooking up some ribeyes. We are gonna marinate them in this steak and chopped sauce. I'm just gonna put all the meat in this Ziploc bag. 
We're going to add our sauce and let them marinate in the fridge for about three or four hours. All right, it's been about four hours. I have my husband cooking up the steak on the grill today. And while the steak cooks, for the topping of our steaks tonight, my husband likes sliced mushrooms as well as some onion. I just went ahead and sauteed these up. And for our next side, I just went ahead and chopped up some potatoes. We're going to do some mashed potatoes along with our steaks tonight. And for our final side, I like the kids to have some greens, so we're going to do these French-style green beans. And for the green beans, I'm just going to salt and pepper them. I'm also going to add in a little bit of this chicken bouillon. And as a side tonight, I'm doing this simply steamed corn and butter sauce, and I'm just going to cook it according to the directions on the back of the bag. All right, the meat is done cooking. I'm just going to let it rest for a few minutes in this tin foil. My husband and oldest son also went fishing, and they caught some skipjack, so we went ahead and barbecued that up this night as well. And I went ahead and just plated up our dinner. My husband is adding on some garlic butter to the top of his steak. We are also adding on our sautéed onions and mushrooms. So here's our dinner. It was filling. It was flavorful. We end up having again the next night. This marinade was on point. We'll definitely be using it again. And dinner is done. For this night's dinner, I did Italian chicken pot stickers. For this dinner, I used about two pounds of ground chicken, and I marinated it with this Olive Garden signature Italian dressing. I let this marinate in the fridge for about two hours. And for this dinner, I'm using some pot sticker wrappers, some cheddar cheese, and some green onions. I started by slicing the cheese into some very small chunks. You want it very tiny, about the size of a tack. Now that my chicken is done, I'm gonna start by taking my wonton wrapper. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of the meat mixture to it. Next, I'm just gonna add in one cube of the cheese and some green onions. I'm also gonna be using this small cup of water. This helps seal and close the pot stickers. And then I just repeated the process. Then I just went ahead and deep fried them until they were done. You let them cook for about two minutes until golden brown. And then I just went ahead and removed them and put them on a paper towel to remove any excess oil. And for a side tonight, I just picked up this garlic fried rice. I just wanted something quick and easy. And for our final side tonight, I added some chopped cabbage along with some sesame seed dressing. I also had some ponzu sauce with some sesame seeds for some dipping sauce. And dinner is done. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys tune in for another What's for Dinner. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all next week.